Hello everybody, this is Andre and today we will learn about the simplified phonetic charts for you to learn the pronunciation of the 44 sounds of English language. So this chart is divided into vowels and consonants. I will just highlight for you. Here we can find the vowels and here you can find the consonants. Okay. Let's start with the vowels. The vowels are divided in two parts, the monotones and the diphthongs. Let's start with the monotones. For the monotones, we have around 12 vowels, and these 12 vowels are divided into two colors, the brown color. We have a light brown color and a dark brown color. The light brown color means that these vowels you need to pronounce with the spread lips. This means you need to move your lips like like as you are smiling, like for example with the sound E. I will show you the sound E, like in eel. We have also the sound E, like in ink. We have the sound E, like in egg, correct. We have the sound A, like in ash, nice. We have also short and long vowels. When you see like two dots near the vowel, it means it is a long vowel. So this one, it is a long vowel, uh, like in er. Uh. Okay, we have then this one is uh, like in up. And the last one is ah, uh, like in arm, correct? So this is with the spread lips, like the monkeys smile, remember that. Um, those that are with dark brown color means that you need to round your lips. Like when you are blowing, for example, we have the ooh sound. Ooh, ooh. Can you see? I'm rounding my lips. Great. Now we have ooh, like in ooze. Nice. And then we have ooh, like in foot. So we have a long vowel, U, and a short vowel, U. Correct. We have a O, like in OR. And we have O, like in OX. And our last vowel, it is called SHUA, and it's the center, and the central one. You need not move too much your tongue, just in the rest position, and just make this sound like U, uh, like in AGAVI. Correct. So these are the monotones. Monotones is just one single sound, one single vowel. And diphthongs means it's a glide of two sounds. It means you need to connect one sound with the other sound. When you move from one to the other, that it is a glide. Let's have one example here. For example, we have the diphthong A. We have the sound E plus the sound E becomes A. You will find other kind of features here, like the magic E. Do you know the magic E? Have you ever heard about it? Let me explain you. It's over here. Nice. I will spotlight it for you. Over here. Perfect. So we have the letter E. We have ape, the word ape. This letter A, when has the influence of the letter E at the last position, you need to say the name of that letter. What is the name of this letter? What is the name of this letter?
A, correct, A. So the same we have here with eyes. What is the name of this letter? I, correct, because we have the last E. When we have the last E, we need to say the long sound of that letter. That is the name of that letter. Correct, so we have A, we have OI, we have I, APE, OIL, EYES. We have other kind of victims like UA, like in TOR, or EA, like in EAR, like EA, like in HEAD, the rabbit, right? Like O, like in OCEAN, the huge ocean, right? Then OW, like in OUT. Correct? Great, we finished the 20 vowels. Now let's start with the consonants. Okay, yes, I have plenty of great colors here, like the rainbow. And you need to understand that these colors means many features, but you will learn it once you will grow in the upper grades. For now, you just need to know that those colors that are on the left means that you need to pronounce these consonants with the front part of your mouth. For example, let me show you where is our star here, okay? The P sound, like P, like in pen, or B, like in bone, or M, mm, like in male. Yes, you are doing these sounds with your lips. So those colors that are on the right of the chart represent the sounds that you are pronouncing with the back part of your mouth, okay? Like K, like K, kite, and G, like in gum, correct? Just feel, where is your tongue when you pronounce k or g? It's in the back part of your mouth, inside, right? Great, and we have then the sound. Correct. Now let's read some of these sounds to practice our pronunciation, okay? So we have here the like in fan, then mm like in van, mm, like in nail, correct. Oh, this is a new symbol, yeah. You just need to take a little bit your tongue in between of your teeth and then you need to blow, like this. That is thorn, correct. Now make vibration on your neck. Mm. Oh, that is this, correct. And then, mm, like in sing, correct. S, like in S, Z, like in Z, we have sun and zu, sun and zu. We have also the R sound, like roof, the roof, correct. We have T, like T. And d, t, d, like in t and dot. And we have also the uh, like in lotus. Do you like the lotus? Yeah, me too. And you have like, when you do this in, in your class, like shh, the shh sound. Correct, like in the ship. And this time you do like this, but you make vibration with your vocal folds, like here, over here. Ah, that is this sound. It look like tree, right? Like in treasure. So you have sheep and treasure. And you have this symbol. Please remember, this symbol is for the y sound, y, like in yak. Okay, like in yak. 
E, correct? Next one. You know the, the sound T and the sound SH, but together they become CH, like in chain. Nice. And the D and the J together becomes J. Please do not get confused with the letter you have when you are writing. The J letter when you're writing it is pronounced as this one, J. But in the phonetic chart, the original sound is Y. Okay? So please do not forget this detail. Nice. So we have the W also that is pronounced as U, like, in, like the worm. Okay. So this is just a glance for you to practice with the chart. Please just check it again and feel free to practice with it. We really like designing all the things for you to learn and you enjoy with this. Please follow us in the social media and see you in our next video. Have a good time. Bye.